All right, guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Sun and Moon playthrough. Hopefully, you guys are having yourselves a great day today. And if you do want to go ahead and show your support to the video, make sure you go ahead and drop a like down below. Of course, all your support is very much appreciated. So, last episode, we actually did a lot. We did a bunch of stuff at the Aether Foundation. We actually battled an Ultra Beast, and that, that was pretty... Some interesting stuff right there, but this episode, I actually have no idea what we have in store for us. So, that is, uh, that's pretty freaking cool. Although, I do know I plan to add another member of the team, but that's all I know. And honestly, I'm okay with just knowing that. But, let me get, uh, uh, let me give you guys a quick team recap. I don't know what I was talking about right there. My words were slowing. But, we do have Jade, the Oricorio, Larry, the Mudbray, Pajama, the Femantis, Delta, the Lycanroc, Ramsey, the Toracat, and Toxicity who was actually pretty much the savior of last episode, help us take out uh, How's Vaporeon, because that battle was crazy, but, you know, you know Toxicity, and the Marini, and that is what our squad is looking like now. So, last episode, before we battled How, I planned on making our way back to Akala Island, because there's actually a place there where you can catch a team member that I want to use, and that is, I believe, right here. So, we gotta go right here, and we'll head to the beach because we can actually catch Sandy Gas now. And uh, that's pretty awesome because Sandy Gas is a great Pokemon. Unfortunately, if we're able to get it, then we do have to go ahead and um, it's called Drop Off Mudbray because I don't have two ground types on the team. Now, I don't really know exactly how to get Sandy Gas, so maybe this is completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure you're just supposed to go over here to this kind of hidden beach area right here and just run up to these little spots and then maybe a Sandy Gas will appear. I, I don't know, man. I seriously don't know, but hopefully uh, we'll get a Sandy Ass. Last episode when we tried to do this, we only found Star Use. So, is it a day and night thing? Hold on, let me check this really quickly. I probably should have checked this before I started the episode. Uh, but you know what? That's how, that's how we do it over here. We do everything freeform. You must acquire a taste for freeform jazz. <laughs> Alright, so let's check Sandy Gas over on your boy Cerebi. Not Cerebi, uh, well, yeah, we want Cerebi. Come on. Oh, Sandy Gas. Cerebi. Boom. Alright, perfect. Found it. Locations, Hano Beach. Yeah, I think that's where we are, right? That's, uh, that's where we are, so... We should just be able to find it rather soon, hopefully. I, I don't freaking know, man. I just wanna... I just wanna catch your boy, the young... The young Sandcastle God himself. The young Sandcastle God is... In the freaking building, we only find these stars. I don't want you, dude. I seriously don't want you. I don't know why you're trying to. Why you trying this? In the meddling star, meddling kids. I mean, we do find starmies in the buildings all the time. They're always just chilling. There's one in the freaking hotel. He's like, "Yo, what's up? I'm a starmie." And I'm like, "Yo, what's up, starmie? I'm a. I'm not a starmie. Come on, man. Come on, man. What the heck?" All right, so what do we do now? There's no more spots left, so we just, do we just fly back and then... And will the spots reset or something? I don't know. I, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try and go to the hotel now. I'm gonna walk inside, and I'm gonna see if that will let me uh, re-encounter Sandy Gas. We haven't even re-encountered Sandy Gas yet. It's not even encountering Sandy Gas. It's just encountering, like, Star Us. It's just a freaking Star U. I don't even understand that. Why? Like, are they washed up on the shore or something, or are they just chilling? I don't know, man. I just want to find it. It's a literal. It, they look like piles of sand. They should always just be a sandy gas, man. Come on. So yeah, we got the Hano Beach right here. This is definitely the right location. Definitely the right spot. I mean, I don't see why it would be a day or night thing. I mean, you find them in the day. Oh, here's one right here. All right, come on, be a sandy gas, homie. Be a sandy gas. When? When will it, when will it happen? I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for the day. All right, let's run away from this thing. Bye bye, Star You. As much as I like you, I do really like Star You, but I don't want you. Okay, chill, chill, homie. Look, all the spots have reset. So I, we got a, we got a little method. We got a little method going. If this round doesn't have any, <gasps> yes, there we go. Okay, perfect. We got a Sandy Gast. All right, so I'm just gonna try and uh, chuck a quick ball at this thing, honestly. I think that might be our best bet here. It's level 23, so not bad at all, actually. Not bad. Let's right, throw a quick ball. Boom. Awesome. So we finally got this thing. 
All right, can we catch you? Come on. Come on. Two. Three. Nice. Four. Sweet. So we got Sandy Gast. Nice. I really like that name, by the way, Sandy Gast. It, it's so good. It's clever. Put sand and then, like, I don't know. It kind of sounds like Geist. Ghastly, I think. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, whatever Ghastly comes from, whatever the Gast in the, the name Ghastly comes from, is put into this thing. The Sand Heap Pokemon. Alright, so we like to name this thing. Of course we would. What do we want to name this guy? Is this Sand Castle? Um. I got a name. I just don't know how to spell it. I don't know how to spell it. Hold on. I want to look this up real quick. I like this name because it sounds like castle, but it's also a name. I just got to make sure I spell it right. Boom. We're going to name it Cassius. Because it sounds like castle, right? He's supposed to be a sand castle. There we go. Perfect. So we got Cassius. Cassius, I should say. Okay, um... I'm actually gonna send it to the box because, um, if we- wait, you place the spell tag in your back. Oh, sweet, so I had a spell tag on it. Okay, the reason why I want to send it to the box is because, um, instead of just replacing it for Mudbray right now, is simply because I want to take the Eviolite off of Mudbray, and doing it this way is just easier. So, let's go to Ula Ula and fly to here, and perfect! So we got a new member of the team that we will swap out momentarily. All we gotta do is just- I mean, he's on the team right now. Damn, man. We had a good time. We had a good time with Mudbray. So now all we have to do is find a replacement for Oricorio. And we already know what that's going to be. And it's probably going to be Drampa. So all we need to do is figure out where to get Drampa. And I'm pretty sure it's in the main story. So we should go there randomly at some point. I don't know. But it does have water compaction. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Mega Drain. But it's actually got a pretty good nature, right? Or is this thing more specially oriented or physically oriented? I don't know. I have no idea. But. We're gonna go ahead and drop off Mudbray. It looks actually like it's more specially oriented looking at its... If you just look at its stats, right? I actually haven't looked at the PC yet. This is a really nice layout. It really... It actually... It's a pretty good layout, I'm not gonna lie. Alright. Well... Cool. So we got Cassius. Yeah, homeboy. If, so he does seem like he is a special attacker, which I'm completely fine with. Lonely Nature just means that we'll be able to use moves like Earthquake also, so that's cool. Uh, but one thing I want is I want to know if this thing will get Earth Power or a different special ground move. Just so we know if uh, we gotta focus on getting in a new move or, you know, whatever. But now we can actually continue on because we got our squad member. We got a squad together and we got a head here it looks like. Whatever this is over here. But it looks very nice. Mally Garden. So nice in here. I heard that this, uh, they served here somewhere. Serve tea somewhere. I'll start my search from the bridge here. Why does this man want tea so much, man? What's up? Is that Oricorio? I don't know what the heck that was. Okay. Um, the only reason I would ever keep Oricorio on the team is if this island is the island where we get Oricorio Sensu. Because uh, I would definitely be down to use that. Definitely would be down because I like that. I mean actually we already have a ghost type on our team We already do have a ghost type and we already have a fire type if we were to switch it to the fire form So there would be no point there. Adios. I do not want to battle you. Go away. Go away, sir You're just a free. That's just a free body bag for me. What's over here? What is over here? This place is so nice. What the heck? There's so much detail in this game. It's unreal, man Can't take this. I don't even feel like I'm playing a Pokemon game anymore. I really don't, but in a good way. Obviously, if you're playing a Pokemon game, you want to feel like you're playing a Pokemon. Hey, okay, you know what I freaking meant. You know what I meant. All right. Oh, there's Kukui. What's up, bro? What's pop? Oh, I like the vanilla statue. That's hilarious. All right, what's up, homie? Oh, Professor Kukui. Wow, you just called Professor Kukui a hoe. What a mean man. Hey there. What's going on with you two? Your eyes are shining extra bright today. Did something big happen? It sure did. Professor, Professor, you gotta hear this. The Ultra Wormhole opened, like, right in front of us. Like, right in front of us. And then there was an Ultra Beast in there. You've gotta tell Professor Burnett, too. Whoa, you got to see the Ultra Wormhole and an Ultra Beast? That is amazing. Oh, yeah. Sounds like an even better reason to train hard. Yeah, on your island challenge. Maybe someday we'll be able to go through the Ultra... Ooh. Boy, you can go ahead without me, Professor. So, he's got a hot date at the most. <laughs> Alright, so apparently we're going to some mountain. Uh, what do I know? 
There's an observe Mount Holukani. Oh, is that where we get Drampa? Hold on, I'm looking this up right now. I'm looking this up right now. Uh, Drampa. Adios, how? Adios, bro, Chacho. Okay, let's get this Pokeball right here. And a Rage can't. Okay, that's interesting. Hold on, I'm, I'm just gonna pull this up on Cerebi really quickly. It is uh, Mount Lanakila. So fortunately, it is not this mountain. Ukalani, or wherever the hell we're going. Wherever the hell we are going. It's gotten to the point where I can't even pronounce the freaking cities and stuff. Like, that's how crazy it is. Uh, what is gonna be here? Oh, yeah, we're, we're in a different area, so there's probably some cool stuff here, right? Oh, did not expect that. That's really cool. Wild Masquerade. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think there's... Is there ever been a case where you can find Wild Masquerade, or is it always just Surskit? Is that thing... I feel like it's probably rare, too, because, I mean, Surskit's like the 1% chance in Ruby and Sapphire, so... I would just assume that that thing is rare, so maybe we just found something incredibly rare. Who knows? Oh, hi. <laughs> How do you do? Hello, let me out. Okay. All right, let's run away from here. Get the hell out of here! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the hell out of here! I actually might want to go ahead and throw the um, Eviolite onto Primarina. Not Primarina. Hello, we do not have a Primarina. Onto this guy right here. Would that be a good idea? He's got pretty good defenses. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Couldn't hurt anything. Definitely couldn't. Uh, let's give him the Eviolite. Boom. And just like that. And just like that. Oh, I freaking love Cassius. That's, I feel it's a really cool name too. I'm happy about that. Awesome. All right, so let's continue on. I think we're just gonna go straight to where we are. I don't really have a desire to look for any Pokemon in here. I also don't have too much of a desire to look for items. I'm sure there's one or two items that we did miss, but I feel like we'll live without them. Yeah, there's that whole patch of the, uh, there's whole like an island strip to the right of me on the Rotom Dex map, obviously. And I feel like if we didn't have this Rotom Dex, this game would be so hard to navigate. Oh my God, I love it so much. All right, so here's Lily actually. What's up with you? Why are you here? You follow me everywhere. Super, would you mind if I asked you something? Pew, uh, I want you to go to the ruin. Or you want me to go to the ruins? Wow. I want you to take Nebby to visit Ula Ula Ruins, and they're located deep in the large desert. Okay. Sure, I guess I'll help you. Sure, whatever. Seems like you just keep asking me for favors anyway, so there's no point in not helping you. There's no point in not. Alright, what's up? Provezar! <laughs> Hello? Why, hello there, Rotom. Are you feeling nice and comfy there? That Pokedex of yours. Never better. <laughs> Good to meet you. I'm Oak. Samson. I, I freaking love Alolan Oak, dude. I'm a Pokemon researcher and I'm looking into the regional variants found around here. And you must be Supra, huh? Young Kukui mentioned me to you. Or mentioned you to me. Uh, Rotom will be sure to help us find this young boy on his trip around the islands. What do you think you're talking about? Z of course I'm doing that. Are you Supra? I'll be trusting you to keep Rotom safe. Or and you Supra. Uh, the young fellow from Kalos who helped invent that Pokedex put a lot of work into it. As much love and care as any parent. I'll be in the Ma Mali library if you ever need me. Feel free to stop by and chat anytime. Isn't it that- I think there's one episode of the anime where, um, Ro Professor Oak has to deal with a bunch of, uh, what's it called? Rotom? I think he's like, he studies Rotom or something. So I think that's really cool. There's that little Easter egg out. He's, uh, like, you find him because of the Rotom. I don't know. I think that's cool. So what is right here, actually? Uh, hi, I'm your friendly neighbor, officer. Uh, so we can't go here, apparently? Or can we? The heck is this? Okay, I don't want to go here just yet. Because we do not have to. I'm going to try and stay on track for the most part. Uh, and I'm just going to do exactly what Professor Kukui told me to do. Looking for Route 10. Um, wait, so we can't go this way? Or can we go this way? They're just trying to warn us, basically. Let's see where we have to go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, right there, actually. Alright, so we're gonna go back in here. And go up instead. I'm sure they'll make us come up both these places, or just come to both of them sometime soon. So we'll explore them eventually. We will eventually, but like I said, I don't want to get too out of line. I did that before and it was kind of dumb in my opinion. I just wasted a, a bunch of time 
uh, just getting sidetracked. I think it was at the volcano. All right, so what is this? Is this isn't the oh, this is the library. Okay. Supra, I'm sorry, I ended up getting lost. How do you get lost all the time? Are you freaking stupid, Lily? Jeez. Oh, dude, look who's coming. The woman at the store uh, did tell me. Okay, okay. The library wasn't actually past the apparel store. I just kept going. Oh, what's up, Mudsdale? Hey, what's poppin'? Yeek! Oh, come on, dude, it's just a Mudsdale. Are you serious? It's just a horse. Supra, been a while, friend. Looks like your iron chance are coming along favorably. Dude, please, Tapu. So, Supra, who might this be? Oh, hello, my name is Lily. My apologies, Muzzdale spilled you just now. <laughs> Seems like you're a trial goat. What are you up to? I'm actually uh, studying Tapu, uh, Tapu's regions. Uh, various reasons for my own. Why that's some fine initiative? Okay, we get it, Hapu. Her name is literally Hapu. It's Hapu Coco. God, Muzzdale is sick. What a cool Pokemon. And then she just dips. See ya. Shall we check out the Mally Library first, though, since we're here? Sure, why not, Lily? Why Why not? Prof where's Professor Oak in here? He said he was gonna be here somewhere. Maybe he's upstairs or something like that. Maybe he just lied to us. The book I'm looking for is very old. Okay, Lola's legendary Pokemon. Interesting, very interesting, very interesting. Who reads, man? Who reads anymore? Am I right? Yeah, I guess you just can't sit down. That's ridiculous. That was a, such an like that is such an innovative feature that they added and then just taking it out. Wait, who was that over there? There was someone to the left that looked very suspicious. Right there. Uh, you see her on the left over there. It's a very valuable book. Valuable book. Is she a trial captain? Maybe. She looks important. Ghost, maybe. What are you looking for, a princess? Give it a read. Oh, of course. What is going on right now? Oh, we're sitting, never mind. Well, it's titled The Alight of Alola. I'll just uh, read it out loud, shall I? Okay, we don't read out here. I can't even read regular English, so we're just gonna get out of here. I can't even read dialogue, so we don't need to read a freaking book. <laughs> Isn't it great? My dad's books are all great. What? I mean, yes it is, but when you say your father, isn't this book very old? Yeah, it belonged to my dad. I don't know, but my family used it for pretty much uh, pretty much royalty. Her name's Acerola, but she hasn't even introduced herself. Okay, whatever. Uh, I have all my dad's books moved here so they didn't get ruined by Pokemon. Uh, I can tell lots of other stories about Alola too. You interested? Well, that would be wonderful. I would be delighted if you did. I think I'll stay here, but I know you've come to Ula Ula. You'll be undergoing any another trial, won't you, Supra? Good luck with it. I read that Ula Ula Island's electric type trial can only be reached by the bus on Route 10. Hmm. Okay, so where are we off to? Are we off to Route 10 to go to the bus, or are we off to the mountain where Professor Kukui wanted us to go? The world may never know, but we should check. We shall check. So we are off to what seems to be this winding road right here. So there we go. Now we finally get to explore that area. See, I was telling you, I told you guys they were going to have us explore eventually. We just gotta wait. We just gotta wait a little bit. But let's do just that. Let's head there. I'm having so much fun recording this game. Like normally, I, like like I said, I normally don't really like to bulk record, but I, I honestly just can't stop recording. <laughs> it's it's honestly bad. I I need to go do something. <laughs> Wait, what the? That was crazy. Hello. Okay. That looked like yeah. I was gonna say that looked like a huge ass bird. But that was definitely not your average fletchling. That was not your average pick a peck. It was a freaking Firo. It's wild, man. It's wild. Yeah, let's get out of here. I am not trying to mess with a Firo. No way, Jose. No way. No way, Jose. All right, what kind of Pokemon can we find here? What kind of Pokemon? Maybe some cool stuff. That's interesting. Ariados, huh? Ha 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 ha. All right, let's air cutter this thing. Why not? Free experience. We're pretty close to leveling up too, so might as well. Yeah, that's easy. There's a lot of high level Pokemon. I've just realized that. So grinding is gonna be pretty easy if we ever decide to like Nuzlocke, which eventually we will Nuzlocke. Obviously, I actually have that project already planned, and it's a co-op. Damn, I'm giving away. Projects left and right, am I? <laughs> you guys are gonna have to wait. I'm so excited for it. 
hopefully it'll be happening around winter break. But that's all I'm gonna say. That's it. That's all I'm gonna reveal about it. I think I've already revealed too- actually, that's not too much. Whatever, who cares? Who freaking cares anymore? What is this? An X accuracy? But yeah, this- like, Eridos, there was that Masquerade. I'm pretty sure both those Pokemon should give pretty decent experience, right? Oh, what's up, dude? Oh, wee woo wee woo! <laughs> that's my impre- okay, dude. What a freaking savage. What a freaking guy. All right, police officer Mitchell. All right, let's take him on. He's got a Growlithe. Yeah, I think all of them are just gonna have Growlithe. That's the traditional Pokemon for professors, uh, not professors, hello, police officers to have. I know in black and white, that's what they had. Even in the end, I'm pretty sure, doesn't Officer Jenny have a Growlithe? Does she, or am I crazy? I think she does. I think she does, I don't know. All right, air cutter, boom. Oh, Ooh, so close. Oh, he's gonna kill himself. Right? Right? Hey. <laughs> hey, looks like we don't even need to kill him if he's just gonna kill himself. And Delta Groot level 27. Ramsey Groot at 29. We haven't used Ramsey in so long. It's just he's, he's over leveled, so I don't really want to level him up too much more. We're almost really, we're really close to being able to use Marini. Really, oh, Team Skull. Team Skull. Well, what do we have here? What? You've never seen anybody take on a bus stop before? Hey, yo! Trying to steal our bus stop? What do you mean, steal a bus stop? I'm just trying to take the bus! I'm not trying to steal anything! We can go on the same bus, it's... You know, but, but you take more than one peop person, people, whatever. <laughs> but I guess if you really want to battle, homie, I mean, I can do this. I can do this all day. Golbat? Should probably switch out. I mean, do we need to? Unfortunately, we don't have, um... Homeboy anymore. I, uh, we don't have what's his face anymore. Uh, I, geez, we, we dip, we have him for almost the whole game, not the whole game. I think we got him on like episode six, seven, maybe. We have Larry for the whole game, and I just can't remember him. Wow, I feel bad. I honestly do feel bad. Air cutter, finally it hits. Boom. Wow, it doesn't even do that much at all. His air cutter is probably, is that gonna kill me? Oh, wow, that did nothing. I think it only did so much because I got a crit, but I wasn't really paying attention. I was trying to think of what my frickin' Mudbray's name was, and it was Larry. Oh, come on. Really? I could have done the same thing. I should have just confused him and be like, yeah, how you like that? How you like them apples, homeboy? I feel like I, I just call these teams Skullgrunts homeboy all the time. That, that's how they talk. They're like, yo, what's poppin'? Uh, Is that gonna kill? No. Are we gonna hit ourselves? No. Yay, we took it out. Awesome. Goldback goes down. Sick, man. Alright, so now do we get to take the bus or do we have to face another grunt? Because if we have to face another grunt, that's stupid. I feel like we've got the point across that I'm just trying to take the bus. Dang, I lost. And my homie's got to fight. Really? I just want to... I just want to... We're just waiting for the bus. I don't understand. I don't understand. Alright, whatever you say. Whatever you say, dude. All right, Team Skull Grunt. What do you have? Just probably another goal bat. Eradicate, okay. We gotta switch out though. We are really low on health. I think we have like seven HP. Oh my God, dude, it is actually so cold. I live in Michigan, so the weather is just, it's, it's bipolar. If you look at the weather wrong, it switches. It's ridiculous. So uh, two days ago, it was 70, it was warm. We were chilling. It was like, this is gonna be a nice Thanksgiving. And the next day, there's literal snow on the ground. It was ridiculous. I was like, what is going on? What is this world coming to? I'm trying to figure out what I want to go out into right now. Oh, we'll go to, go to the boy pajama. But, yeah, it's a bit insane. It's pretty cold right now. Let's check the weather, actually. Wow, we just got freaking played. I'm not even mad. Like, honestly, good for that guy. I'm not mad. He just played me hardcore. So, good for you, homie. You can, you can take that W all you want. But, uh, where's the weather app? Weather. Um, yeah, let's go to pajama. Okay, um, it is 32 degrees right now. So if it were to rain, it would snow. That's ridiculous. Oh my god. But yeah, yesterday there was snow. It was freaking, it was honestly like, it was not a blizzard, but actually in some points in Michigan, it was blizzarding. We were watching the Michigan football game, college, ba uh, not college basketball, hello, college football. And it looked like there was a blizzard on the field. It was ridiculous. I was like, if I'm playing, if I was playing football there, I would just be mad. That's how bad it was. All right, that did nothing. We gotta switch out. I'm not about to just, I'm probably gonna get Pursuit Trapped, honestly. 
I didn't get pursuit traps. Wow. What do you know? What do you know? Would you look at that? All right, Delta. Let's get him. Ooh, I made that play. Hyper Fang. That's doing nothing. But now that I'm out here, what do I do? That's the question. Let's go for Rock Tomb. I really want that priority rock move. Because apparently Lycan Rock is pretty good. Apparently. Not sure if that's 100% true, but... I know with that move, I know there's like Sand Rush Lycan Rock right now. I know that's a meta thing. I don't know if it's... Like, not Sand Rush. Like, I know it's like a Sand Team with Lycan Rock. It might not be Sand Rush, but... You know what I mean. Yeah, but dude, the OU meta, or the whole like meta is just developing. I really like it. Like, I don't know. I haven't really got a chance to battle too much, but I've watched um, my friends battle. Like, uh, we and show it, like, so they'll just put a link in, they'll be on Discord or whatever, and they'll say, yo, battle me, and they'll put a link in the chat, we'll just watch, and so I get to see how the meta kind of works, especially because my friends are pretty good battlers, and I'm not, like, you know, Nexus is a really good battler, um, that, that's pretty well known, and then Leo, Six Foot Hacks, he's a really good battler, there's obviously some other guys, but those are the people that I know, or, like, they'd honestly probably just fuck me up in battling, like, I, I, I used to think I was pretty good, but I am, I am honestly I'm probably trash. I really am. <laughs> What's going on? Some uh, Team Skull Punks just ran past me going in the other direction. Yeah, dude, they, they didn't understand. Wait, hold up. I wish they just challenged the league instead of getting up. Ooh, the league. Ooh. Well, you'll find out soon enough. So you can't just bring it up and then be like, oh, yeah, but they I wish they just challenged this thing. But I'm not going to tell you what they should challenge. That's stupid. I hate you, Kukui. I hate you, man. You play a... Do I want to catch the... Yes. Wait, how Kalan? Wait, was that the... What? What the hell was the mountain? I can't I not remember the name. Lanakila. Where where is Mount Lanakila? That's what I want to know. Lanakila. Hey, Lanakila, what's popping? <laughs> All right, but here we are. Over here. What's up, dog? Okay, Mount Hanakila is a uh, hook. I, I got mixed up. Hukulani, I think H Hokulani. Hokulani is the second tallest mountain in Alola. And the tallest? Is he about to show us it? Is that it right there? Check it out, Supra. I'm checking it out, man. I'm checking it. The majestic peak right over there. Is that who the other place? Lanakila? Yep. There it is. The highest peak in a little. So it's good to know that it's on the same mountain. So that's the frost mountain that has the stuff on top. Okay, cool. So that's good to know that that's where we have to get Drampa. It's a sacred spot closest you can ever get to the legendary Pokemon of Alola. Wait, that's where the Pokemon League is? Ah. Okay, it's time to get our own Elite Four and make our own Pokemon League. To think that someday these kiddos in Alola will be able to go from being the Island Challenge Champion to the World Champion. And then we'll have our, uh, our own champion that can show the rest of the world what's so special about Alolan Pokemon and their trainers. Yeah. Okay, so that's actually, if that is Lanakila and if that is where the Elite Four is going to be located, that sucks, because that means we won't get Drampa till late game. So if that's the case, we gotta find a replacement. Until then, maybe you don't get it actually that late. And, um... Maybe you don't get it that late, but... Because uh, I know Como o you get Como o on the fourth island. And if that is at maybe beforehand, we could just use Como o instead. Because I want to use one of those, like, good Pokemon. I just want to use Drampa because I like Drampa, simply, but... But if you get, because I, I was going to use Drampa as the alternative to getting Coma O, because you get Coma O really late. But if you get Drampa bef uh, after Coma O, then we just use Coma O. So we'll see how it goes. It's super right. Thanks for coming all the way up to Mount Hokulani, uh, Hokulani to visit us. Uh, but our Captain Sophocles is a busy young man, always calculating comets, paths, and working on the Festival Plaza thing of his. So I'll just determine whether you're qualified to take on the trial. Uh, are we trying to battle? Oh, my. Capture card is unplugged. Sorry, that scared me really badly. Anytime my capture card shuts off at all, I get I, I get scared. I just unplugged the cord a little bit. So my apologies. My apologies. All right. Whoa, shit. I just knocked it. <laughs> all right. Let's go Skarmory. Look at the battle setting here. It's so nice. Okay, so what are we going to do against a Skarmory here? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, let's go to Ramsey here. Let's go to Ramsey. We haven't used Ramsey too much. I'm probably not going to use the Z-move, considering this thing does have sturdy. So we can just go for Fire Fang or something like that. 
Uh, but let's see. Oh, I did not do that much at all. Okay, we we're actually kind of under leveled. I just realized that. So we got to get these boys up fast. So I'm on it. If I have to do grinding off screen, I might have to do that. I don't know. I'm probably gonna go for the fire Z move now, considering that this probably won't two shot. So we're just gonna go fire Z move, power up, and then we're gonna go for Inferno Overdrive. Boom! Hit him up with it. Hit him up with that young Inferno Overdrive. Surrounded itself with Z power. Oh, get him. Inferno Overdrive. Hi! Yeah! <laughs> Destroy. So I was thinking earlier, for the water move, obviously we want to have a water move on Toxapex when uh, Marini does evolve. We want to have a water move. And I was thinking, what water move do we want? And I was like, oh yeah, Surf. And I was like, wait, no, HMs aren't a thing. So is there a way to get the HM moves as TMs? Or are we just have to, is it just tough luck? You don't get a good water move. Because if Surf's out of the meta completely, that really sucks. Oh, we don't even need to buy the Venoshock thing, because it's just going to learn Venoshock. That's stupid. Um, I'll get rid of... I'll get rid of Toxic Spikes. Toxic Spikes is really good and competitive, and it's honestly really good in general, but I don't really see myself taking time to waste three turns in a playthrough just so I can set up Toxic Spikes, especially when I could just Toxic it. it doesn't really make much sense. We don't have to think too strategic in these freaking playthroughs. Is this going to be in a Lowland Dug Trio, or just... I mean, it'd probably be a Lowland. If it's a regular Dug Trio, I'll be very upset, because we haven't seen a Lowland Dug Trio yet in this playthrough, I don't think. So, let's see those Luscious Locks. A. Hey. That, the one in the back whips his hair when he gets into battle. That's hilarious. All right. Um, well, fuck. What the sh... That's bad. That really sucks. <laughs> He's got blown back. I cannot wait till we get Lorantis. Oh my goodness. We need it so bad. We really do. Oh wait, is, is this thing... I think this thing is Steel-type, actually. Yeah, what type is a Lowland Dug Trio? Let's confuse it, why not? Let's see. A Lowland... The, oh no. Bro, we're about to lose. We're actually about to lose to this thing. It is Ground and Steel. All right, so we got to rely on this thing missing. Oh, we have a fighting. We have HP fighting. All right, please hit yourself. Oh, my God. Actually, it doesn't matter because now we get the HP fighting off. I really wish we remembered that earlier. All right, well. Actually, I probably should have just healed. I really should have. Just don't get a boost, please. Please don't get a boost. Thank you. Okay, so what are we going to do now? What's the plan? Uh, I don't know. Ramsey, maybe? He's plus one attack, and that's what scares me the most. Because that really sucks. So, let's go for a flame charge. Oh my god! This is ridiculous. This is insane. This game is hard. Holy shit. Alright, Delta. Let's get him. I just realized I don't have revives either, so... Right, that's a special move. Alright. Can we please kill you? Thank you. Tangling hair. What does that do? Speed fell? Okay, I don't care about that. Okay, well... What is your last Pokemon? Please don't be too stressful, because I really don't want to lose to this man. A Matang. Could have been worse. Really could have been worse. I'm just going to bulldoze it and see what I can do. I mean, I honestly don't even know if I'll be able to bulldoze it, because it might just kill me, but... Alright, let's go Sandy Gast. <laughs> it's literally just this pile of freaking sand just chilling. All right, I understand that if I hit this, it's not going to do much at all, but... Okay. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. Okay, okay. It did a decent amount. 
Let's go for it again. That really doesn't do anything at all. Okay, I'm actually going to heal here. I'm going to see if I can take this out with Sandy Gast. Yeah, I'm going to need to do some training or something. Luckily, earlier I was talking about how easy it is to grind in this game, considering there's so many good wild Pokemon. So maybe I'll just grind up a little bit, and I'll get everyone situated so this doesn't ever happen again, because we are getting blown back. Uh, I, is that in bullet punch range? Don't remember. Pursue. He's still faster? Actually, I'm pretty slow, so... I'm not actually surprised. Okay, uh... I'm gonna go to Toxicity. See what we can do. I know I can't poison this thing, which really sucks, but maybe I can, uh... No, I can bite it. Bullet Punch will eat that up, right? That did nothing. It has to go for Zen Headbutt, probably. If it wants to do any crazy damage. I'm just waiting for it. I'm just waiting to get blown back by Zen Headbutt. Yep, there it is. Let's see. That didn't kill. I just realized I really need to heal up Lycanroc. As much as I would love to stay and get the kill, I need to heal up Lycanroc because this thing has Bullet Punch. And I don't want to be in range for a Bullet Punch. That would really suck. Because we should be able to kill it with a bite. He'll probably go for bullet punch, so as long as he doesn't get a crit, even if he gets a crit, I don't think it'll kill. I really don't. Uh, but we're gonna be faster. We have two bulldozers on him. So, I, actually, this this thing have clear body? Will that prevent that loss? I don't really think it matters, considering... Yeah, we... I, okay, we won. Awesome. Yeah, that was really... That was stressful as hell. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. Here with Kukui, looks like you brought along a good trainer. Yeah, dude, dude, that was hard as shit. This game is difficult. We're gonna need to train up Sandy Gast a bunch before we take on Sof Sophocles, excuse me. Well, well, you certainly seem qualified to take on the trial. Yeah, I think he's even stronger when we're at this point on our island challenge. One more thing, cousin. The name's Kukui. Who's the mask Roy uh, who's this mask royale you're talking about? Don't even play, bro. Alright, cousin, I'm heading back to Mali Garden. I figured how should I be on eating Malasada by now? Uh, I'll make sure he gets up here too. Alright. So I'm assuming if we ever want to get it, we just ask. Oh, that's interesting. Is that my old buddy? Welcome to the observatory, Supra. Well, thank you, my good sir. All right, so we're now all able to get in there. Let's just heal up because we we just got honestly bodied. We really did. This thing just... Oh, my God. The Alolan Dug Tree was wild. He was fast. He was... Oh, my God. I'm going to buy some revives right now before I forget. I really need some. Desperately. I don't really, I didn't mean to talk to this dude, but yeah, I don't want to talk to you. All right. They actually raised the price of the protein, calcium, and stuff like that. Do you guys see that? It used to be 9,800, but now it's 10,000. It's not that crazy of a price difference, but still, that's worth noting, I guess. I don't know why they decided to do that. It seems like a really weird price change, but whatever. I'm not going to complain too much. Is there anything I can sell just so I can get... Couple extra revives, maybe. I just wanted to make sure I had Hyper Potions. Um, doesn't really look like it, unfortunately. Maybe I can use I can use the Amulet Coin. I can get some more money that way. I should probably do that. I can sell an HP up. Uh, I think we're good. We have a rare candy. That's really notable. Okay, well, with that being said, I do not think... We, we definitely need to grind up or something like that before we take on Sophocles. So, I think it's a good spot to end off the episode. So, hopefully, you guys did happen to enjoy today's episode of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Thank you so much for sticking around if you did the whole way. Of course, it does mean a lot. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Of course, your support is greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.